Hello everyone, my name is Hugo and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I got <laughs> I got something in my hand. one moment. <sighs> Hello everyone, my name is Hugo, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I got tagged uh, in a video by Maza from Maza Booktuber. You all know who he is probably. Uh, I've mentioned him before. Link is down below. Great booktuber, go subscribe if you are not already. Um, he has a lot of Stephen King content too, if that is something you enjoy. So he tagged me in this video called, uh, in this tag called Can You Adapt It Tag, which is um, around book adaptations. And it's created by Raul from Raul Reads. And I'll leave a link down below too. He's also a great channel and he doesn't have enough subscribers, so go subscribe to him. And yeah, it's a great tag. I, I haven't prepared it, which is a thing that's common on my channel, uh, which I apologize for, but I think it might be more genuine when I don't do these things. So questions are here. I'm wearing my glasses because otherwise I cannot read. I apologize for my hair again. And the, I, this is like my third, third video in a row that I record today. So it's tr three days and my hair looks like shit. Anywho, the questions. So. Can you adapt a book tag about book adaptations? What is your favorite book adaptation? Shawshank Redemption. Uh, if you have never watched this movie, I'm not gonna say that it's underrated, but it's underrated. It's like the highest rated movie of all time on IMDb, for example. Uh, it has like a 9.3 there. And it deserves all the praise it gets. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. It's just fantastic. Tim Robbins does an amazing job. Morgan Freeman does an amazing job there. It's based on the story uh, Rita Hayward and Shawshank Redemption by Stephen King, which is a novella in different seasons. And I watched the movie first and it was my favorite movie. And then I read the book last month and it's a really good book, but it's as good. It's as good. Uh, I, I, I can't choose which one is better. I'm probably gonna say the movie is better, just because of that. I, that I've just because I've known it for longer. But yeah, it's fantastic. It's about a man being put in jail for the rest of his life. He claims he's innocent, and then this other man says like, "Yeah, we're all innocent." Um, but it's like, "Yeah, yeah, but I'm innocent." <laughs> uh, and then, yeah. Shawshank Redemption. It's about redemption and it's fantastic and everyone should watch this because it's really, really, really good. So that's my favorite book adaptation of all time probably. Number two, what is your least favorite adaptation? Huh, I don't really know. That's a fairly, that's a fair question. My least favorite adaptation. Lord of the... Re no, I'm just kidding. So, least favorite book adaptation. I will... Ha I haven't read the book, but I also will never... I'm gonna say Twilight. Which is... I know people hate on the movies, I guess. But... I only saw the first one. I saw it last year for the first time ever, and I don't know why... Like, I, I managed to stay away for, for, from it that long. I don't know why I... Why I went decided to watch it. I was like, let's see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> because I'm not gonna read the book, so I wanted to see... I, I wanted to have at least an idea what it was about. And oh boy, that's not a good movie. I'm assuming the books are better, but I also hear the books aren't really great either. So I don't know what the appeal is. Um, but it's obviously huge, so if you enjoy it, more power to you. I just don't care about it. <laughs> Number three, if you could have any book, which one would it be and why? I would like to see... It may be weird, but I want to see an adaptation of New Game and Norse Mythology. Because uh, it's the mythology to told in like such an... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not easy, but like 
like you can reach it, not reachable. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna say easy. It's a, it's it's written in like such an easy way to understand, even for um, people that never really read like older uh, literature or whatever, uh, or wouldn't read like the original mythology. Like I haven't read those either, but I want to. Uh, but I think if you adapt it uh, with like the same cast, but it's like just just a mini series, right? So a couple, of, ten episodes maybe. Uh, and you adapt the stories that he writ that he he has written. I think that could be really cool and really interesting, especially if you like mythology. Um, yeah, just like the the story of the Norse gods, it's really interesting, I think. And there are lots of times where it's used, like in Vikings or God of War or or Marvel. Uh, so it's used like certain elements, but it's not really a story about. The gods, except for God of War, but it's it's their own story, right? Uh, so I would say maybe Norse mythology. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Joyland, yeah, Joyland. That would be cool. That would be a cool movie. I'm telling you, it would be a cool movie. Uh, but yeah, I think Norse mythology would be really cool to have like a mini series. Number five. If you could star in any book adaptation, which one would it be, and which character would you like to play? I want to play a villain. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I want to play a villain is all. Yeah. I want to play a villain. I want to play a villain. That's all I want. I don't know which one, though. Like, I have no inspiration at this moment. Anyway. Oh, I want to play... It's it's a TV show, actually, but uh, there are books of it. So if you adapt books, it's technically still a book adaptation. I would like to play Jack Bauer. <laughs> Just let my rage unleash at some people. Acted, of course. I won't actually unleash my rage upon people when I'm doing a movie. <laughs> okay. Uh, number seven. If you could change anything from a recent adaptation, what would it be? It's not really a recent adaptation. However, can I... <laughs> so it's not really a recent adaptation, but The Shining, it's a classic adaptation, and I really enjoyed the movie. But I want, I would um, change one thing, one simple thing. In the book, spoiler alert for the Chinese. Uh, so skip around, skip that, skip 30 seconds or something. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert for both the movie and the book. In the book, you see John Torrance, uh, Jack Torrance, have like a small moment of clearance and he says to Danny, Danny, I love you, you have to go. Uh, I can't hold it off uh, for as long, so please go away right now, run. In the movie, you didn't have that. In the movie, he was like kind of creative from the beginning, while in the book, it was very slowly built up, and you could see like the strong bond between him and Danny, even though he broke his arm like a couple of years ago. So I would like to have like a moment of clearance for Jack Torrance to warn his son and tell tell him he loves him, because I wasn't in the movie and it was just like. That's unfortunate. So, yeah, the shiny. Number eight, is there a book adaptation better than the actual book? If so, which one? I... Well... Well, Shawshank. I mean, the book was really good, but the movie is just... It's just so good. I'm guessing also like things like uh, Tom Clancy books, like Jack Ryan books, or uh, Jack Reacher books by Lee Child. Uh, I have read one Jack Ryan book, I think, and it's it's great. However, when you do the movies with Harrison Ford or the recent TV show with uh, John Krasinski, um, I think they're, they are a lot better because it's an action-packed book, right? Uh, even though it's written pretty good uh, by people who know their stuff, when it's on screen, explosions look better than reading about it. You know what I mean? So I think those kind of books are better on screen than the book itself. Even though the book are still great and there's clearly an audience for it. Uh, but I just think they are better on screen. It's that like very action-packed books. Uh, they just look better on screen. 
Number nine, can you tag it? Tag your friends. I will tag whoever wants to do this tag. So yeah, I'm not gonna really tag anyone, uh, but if you see this video and you're like, I wanna do this tag, uh, be my guest. Uh, I think, yeah, I think that would be it. So go subscribe to Maza who tagged me, go subscribe to Raul who made the tag, and I will tag you for watching. <laughs> I will tag you for watching. Oh, thank you for watching. And yeah, let me know what is your favorite book adaptation uh, or what is like a movie or series that is better than the book. Uh, let me know down below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys. That's it, this is over. This is over!